Hello, welcome to Prajim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 2, Reading and Writing to Console. In part 1, Introduction to C-Sharp, we have seen the basic structure of a C-Sharp program, what is a namespace and the purpose of the main method. We have seen a very simple C-Sharp program there. All this program does, if you look at the slide, it prints out a message saying, Welcome to Prajim Technologies. That's what this program does. But in part two, we are going to make this program a little more interactive. For example, when I run the program, it should prompt the user to enter their name. So when I run it, it should ask the user, please enter your name. The user types in his name, for example, let's say Prajim, and your program should output, hello Prajim. If I type my name as technologies, hello technologies. So your program should be a little interactive. It should take the input from the user who is running the program and then print that name back to the console. So reading from the console and writing back to the console. That's what your program should do. So in this session, as I told you, we'll read from the console, write to the console. And there are two ways basically to write to the console. One is using concatenation and the other one is using the placeholder syntax. Usually, prefer placeholder syntax it's because it's more clean. Now let's look at the demo. Okay, so what should our program do? It should print a message to the console, you know, asking the user to enter their name. And in the previous example we have seen, to write a message onto the screen, we can use the write line method that is present in the console class. And we know that console class is present inside system namespace. So, console dot write line. So we will ask the user to enter their name. So please enter your name. So what happens when we run this program? It will prompt the user to enter their name. So once they enter their name and process enter, we should read that name on the from the console. For example, if I run this program, so it will print this message, please enter your name. So the user has to type their name there and we should read that name from the console. And to do that, to read something, see, to write something onto the console, we use the write line method. To read something from the console, we can use the read line method. So console dot read line. So what will this function do? This function will read a line that has been typed onto the console by the user who is interacting with your program. So if he types, for example, Prajim and presses enter, this read line method will read that word Prajim. And if you look at the IntelliSense, this function, okay, if you look at the IntelliSense, it says, now here, console.readLine. This is the fully qualified name. And if you look at the return type, this is the return type. What is this function doing? It is returning a string. For example, if the user types Prajim, that word is a string which will be returned back to the program. So, read line is going to give that name back to you. So you have to store that in a variable so you can use it later for printing. So I'm using a string variable called username. So username equals console.readline. So if I enter Prajim, this method is going to read that and give it to this variable and this var variable will hold that value. Now what do we want to do with that? We want to print it onto the console and to do that again to write something onto the console we can use the write line method. So console dot write line but this time we want to say for example if the user typed Prajim we want to print out a message hello Prajim. Okay so I can say hello Okay, and that's the string, hello, and a space, and to that, I want to concatenate whatever is present in this variable. Okay, so if the user has entered Prajim, it will say, hello, space, Prajim. If the user has entered something like London, hello, space, London. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this program. So when I run this program, Look at this. Let's walk through the code. Okay, so first this line is printed. Console.write line, please enter your name. Please enter your name. So I enter my name Prajim and then press enter. So the moment I press enter here, what's going to happen? 
this piece of line this piece of code will be executed it will read that word pregeam and stores in this variable and then what happens this line will be print you know executed okay in username we have pregeam now so pregeam will be concatenated with this string and outputted onto the console so if i press enter it will say hello pregeam all right so it's as simple as that so this is reading from the console and this line is writing to the console even this line is writing to the console okay actually to write to the console there are two different ways this one is called concatenation because we are concatenating this string with this string using a plus symbol and in general people actually use a different syntax and that one let's comment out this one control k control c the keyboard shortcut to comment or you can use the symbols right here so comment and uncomment uncomment and comment okay so instead of concatenating strings like this and printing we can make use of the placeholder syntax so how do we do that console dot write line and within double quotes hello space and then within curly braces zero so what's going to happen this is treated as one string and within the string there is a placeholder here what should go into this placeholder whatever you pass in right here so now what's going to happen it's going to take this variable and substitute in this location when you execute the program so instead of concatenating like this using plus symbols you can actually use this placeholder syntax which is mostly preferred so when i go ahead and run the program the output is definitely going to be uh, the same so prajim so hello prajim okay so you can either use placeholder syntax like this or, or you can use concatenating strings but usually pe people prefer this okay so this is reading and writing to a console the exact similar program that we have seen just now and one important thing to keep in mind is c sharp is case sensitive programming language and what do we mean by that the variables etc are actually case sensitive for example if you look at this program we have a variable you know of type string called username and we are using that variable here now if by mistake instead of capital u if i use a small u like that look at this we get a red squiggly line indicating that there is an error because c sharp is case sensitive so c sharp compiler treats this variable and this variable differently because there is a change in case so c sharp is sensitive to that case changes so that's why um, you know you need to keep that fact in mind c sharp is case sensitive okay so c sharp is case sensitive programming language and just to make this you know uh, to let you know that how better it is to use a placeholder syntax let's say for example we want to print the um, end users first name and last name together okay first name comma space last name so a program should ask the user to enter your first name and we should read that into a variable called first name and i also want the user's last name so i should prompt the user to enter their last name and to do that so let's make a copy of that so ask the user to enter their last name and use a variable as so so last name so we have two variables one variable holding their first name another variable holding their last name and i want to print their first name comma last name so i can say hello comma and then maybe another placeholder so this is the first placeholder and this is the second placeholder now we have a variable okay so the output should be if i enter you know the first name as prajim and the last name is technologies the output should be hello Prajim comma technologies that's how I should have so this string says okay hello if you look at this string whatever is highlighted hello there's something here 
comma and something here. So what should come here? First name and what should go here? Last name. So we pass them in that order. So first name, comma, last name. So now if you go ahead and run this program, first it will ask the user to enter their first name. So I enter my first name and then it will ask the user to enter their last name. So we enter their last name. And the moment you press that, hello Prajeen Kama Technologies. Okay. So pretty simple, a little interactive program. You know, it's talking to the user. The user is inputting something. We are reading that input from the user, concatenating them together and printing them out. So in this session, we have seen how to read from a console, how to write to a console, and the two different ways to print uh, a message onto the console using concatenation and the placeholder syntax, and prefer the placeholder syntax because it's more convenient. And we have also seen that C Sharp is cost sensitive. And for more resources, please refer to our homepage, prajamtech.com, and for ASP.NET and C Sharp interview questions, refer to these additional resources. Thank you. Have a great day.